Hi folks, welcome to, or welcome back, hello, we're going already, welcome back to Expose, and if I'm welcoming you back and you like it here, I'd love it if you stayed and subbed. I wish these headphones could be wireless with my mic. I thought that's what a thing was that I got ages ago was going to do, but it didn't. I'm sure there has to be a way of doing it because I've gone through so many cables and they all eventually start crackling and they don't work and it's really annoying. Anyway, we're back to part two. Shall we jump in? Oh, then someone also had said with Bella. I didn't go in with Bella. You mean you let the dog, you handed the dog over and you let her be put to sleep without all alone well you know what when the dog is put to sleep when you bring it in to be fixed or to have surgery or to have even its teeth cleaned it doesn't know that it's going to wake up so bella didn't know you hand your dog or cat to the vet and thank you shannon and um the dog doesn't know right so Bella was put to sleep. Yes, I thought of me. I thought of me because I knew I didn't uh, ever, I have never seen a dead dog and I didn't want to see Bella dead. In my head, I remember her not blind and because I can't think of her in the end. Like I waited probably a month too long. I was waiting for her to not eat or drink. Because my mother had said, oh, blind dog, you can keep a blind dog. No, no, bumping into walls and being old like that. Yeah, she was eating and drinking. I waited too long. Uh, I don't believe in saving an animal at all costs. There's a fine line. It's like it's either too soon or too late. So you have to wait for them to fail. Somebody's commented, and you'd wake up the next day remembering that, as where Bella did not. She knows you loved her. Does she? Really? Does she? But yeah, I didn't go in with her. And so... Bella didn't write exactly, Lori Carlsberg. Bella didn't know what was happening. They gave her a shot. She didn't need me holding her. She wouldn't have been, even when she was in her right mind and young, when she went to the vet to have, Bella never had any surgeries, but well, she did have, she got fixed. But Pom Pom has gotten fixed and had two teeth surgeries. And when she did, and Gucci had a bladder surgery, not, they don't know. No, I did what was best for me, Clinique. What was best for me, you know? At least you're honest. Uh, everyone's a fucking expert. I know. I'm prone to ulcers, too. Oh, of course you are. But, Clinique, I did what was best for me in that case. Because I just never want... I didn't want to ever see her dead. So I handed her over. It was actually harder because I didn't ever see her gone. So there was that one little percentage of me, like, because I, and I also didn't take her ashes. I didn't get a paw print. Burke was like all mad about that. Like, yeah, I get the paw print. I, to me, all of that is. I don't. I have the memories and pictures. Why do I need a paw print of hers to, no. to pay them extra? I didn't even want to pay to put her to sleep. That just seemed like I'm paying 100, that 120, which was the cheapest, to put her to sleep. Like, oh, it's kind of like I just don't want to get an oil change and pay. I'd rather buy a pair of shoes. Wow. See, living life for today, I agree. And my friends, I had asked them, and they were like, 
I didn't go, a lot of them did not go in. And then to take back the ashes, I don't want to save a bunch of crap. So what am I going to save? Bella's ashes and pom-poms. A bunch of crap. Oh, her true self is coming out in this one, isn't it? Ashes and Gucci's ashes. And then I move around. So I'm going to cart all of these ashes everywhere with me until I die. And then Burke, hopefully I die before Burke. <sighs> Let's not go there. Oh, listen to her. Hopefully I die before Burke. <laughs> so, sorry, somebody's at the bottom, Bella Langer. I'll haunt you. <laughs> oh dear. Mark's going to have to decide what to do with these ashes. Yeah, Lori. Look at somebody, some loser created my dogs, and her now last name is not Langer, it's Rossellini. Some loser took the time to do that and then get on here. I'll haunt you. What a rotten human being you are. Rotten, and you know it. Paisley dreams. I put my dog's ashes in the woods where we like to walk. Yeah, because you took your dogs out, Paisley. You are living with yourself. You know it. You know, yeah, you know it. You are the one that has to answer to yourself. The rottenness sick inside. They've said you Nobody are rotten. Nobody thinks yeah, I'm rotten, are. but we all think you are. Hi, Marilyn. It's not mean. It's all, oh, God, I can't. Stop writing so I can block the stupid cunt. Like, so stupid. I'm just going to block you. Do something stronger. Find out where I live and come here. Oh, they don't have to find out. They probably know. You know, yeah, you know it. You are the one that has to answer to yourself. The rottenness sick inside. Nobody thinks I'm rotten, but we all think you are. Hi, Marilyn. It's not mean. It's all. Oh, God, I can't. Can't. Stop writing so I can block the stupid. Listen, I've been through it twice. One dog I put down, one passed in her sleep at home. It's a very individual decision. Hunt. Like, so stupid. I'm just going to block you. Do oh, something many stronger. people like that. Oh, I keep trying to catch it, but it's gone before I can see it. Find out where I live and come here. It's not mean because mean would imply that I care. It's disgusting human behavior. And Megan, to have it passed at home. How old is this person? Old. Young girls do not do this. Young boys do not do this. Because they grew up with social media, there's an etiquette. But these old hags that are sick, nobody thinks I'm a rotten person. Mm -hmm. Nobody. Oh, okay, whatever. And most especially, I don't think I'm rotten. I don't care if anybody thinks I'm rotten. I know who I am. I wouldn't do shit like that. If you told anybody... In your life, that this is what you do, they would think you're weird. Not if they saw you first. They would think something's wrong with you. Hi. What do you think of this? I created a fake username of the name of a dog that someone on YouTube has a channel. She just put her dog to sleep. So I created the dog's name with this girl's last name. I don't know her, though. She just... Honeybee, block them and block them good, Laurie. Honestly, your little pool of friends are as fucking insane as you are. Does YouTube channel. She just has a stupid, small YouTube channel. So I created a username 
with her dog's name and her last name, Bella Langer. And I go on and I tell her she's a terrible person. And I pretended I was the dog and said, I will haunt you. Do you think that if you went to any normal person, your husband, your daughter, your grandchildren, and told them you did this, that they wouldn't say, Mom, don't do that. That's really weird. And then think, oh, you never did that. That's just sick. So sick. I don't think you're it's I can't rotten. even say any more than it is so sick. I think you're uh No, it's sick. Aunt. It's not normal. It is not normal thinking to take the time to do that. Hi, purring lady. I've been, when Pom Pom starts to do the choking thing, I do what you said. I massage her larynx. Karma's a bitch because that person, it's not like they have to, they're living the karma. You're their whole life. Oh, please. Listen to the irony of this. These people who are obsessed with me, who pretend that they don't like me or they think that I'm ugly, whatever they, or they pretend to think that, pretend to think that I'm ugly. Pretend to think that you're ugly. Nobody has to pretend to think that you're ugly. You're ugly from the inside out. They would never tell anyone they did that except in the bakery or something or in the bakery or something. They hide behind the keyboard. Are idolizing somebody that is a bathroom attendant at Walmart. Who's idolizing you? No one's idolizing oh you. Oh my God, seriously. You're idolizing somebody who is a bathroom attendant at Walmart. Oh, my new job is equal to a bathroom attendant at Walmart. That's what I do for a living. Well, no, I do other things, but that's my new job. How long did that one last? I tried to think of the lowest of the low jobs. Right, so if any of your subscribers are a bathroom attendant at Walmart, how do they feel now? It's important. It's necessary for the faucets to all be turned off and the bathroom to be cleaned and the mirrors to be cleaned. Uh, Walmart has greeters, too, that just stand there and greet you. So... Um, it's an important job as far as, you know, bathrooms need to be clean. Um, but it's not anything. You're a hot bathroom attendant, really? I'm a hot bathroom attendant. You know, it's just like, it, it, I'm God, humbled. You're ugly. I'm humbled. Yeah, right after you're a hot bathroom attendant, we've got, God, you're ugly. And nothing lasts forever. I had jobs with big titles and big salaries. And I traveled so I could say, oh, I have to travel. I have to go to New York. I have to go to California. I'm working a symposium. Um, yeah. And, you know, so what? Like, okay. Custodian. Do we even believe that? Nobody thinks I'm ugly. Someone's put, please don't tell me you'll be servicing urinals. Add those little scented discs. <laughs> Including you. Please don't tell me you'll be servicing urinals. <laughs> Better a honey pot driver. 
I actually have a friend that is the bathroom cleaner at Walmart and it's not an easy job. Well said, letter artist. Let's le let's watch a fucking backpedal now. <laughs> so it's, but are you black? I don't know what that's supposed to mean. What is a honeypot driver? God, seriously? Are you black? Um... There are lonely old dried up hags and don't have husbands who don't... They, sorry, there are... No, shouldn't that be they are? Anyway, lonely old dried up hags and have husbands who don't love them. Honeybee, why are you just regurgitating all the stupid fucking stuff that she says? Go back to your worms. Why aren't you asking me if I'm trans? That's the thing that people ask. Dummy, look it up. You're just going to get blocked faster than you can say anything. So stupid. Oh, those lips say I'm black. Thank you. I would love a black girl's lips. Yeah, Mindy, you have a young name. Mindy K is a young name. So you had those big, everyone has. Oh, you missed it, Purring Lady. It's by Physician's Formula. It's really pretty. I love it. I, it's in the beginning of this vlog. Um, you know, a bakery. I would love to work in a bakery. Yeah. I can't stay. Can you imagine her working in a bakery? There'll be nothing to sell. But you hate bakeries. They gossip in there. And for very long. So luckily this job has a chair in the bathroom and I can sit. What about those women in the 60s that were, in, that were truly bathroom attendants? sad part is there's a group of them they just wait for you to go live so they can get in their group chat and announce she's live she's live you're just repeating what she said really and that doesn't happen <gasps> is this when she got sent the fucking pizza and lost her shit oh cool i need a uh a bathroom attendant break i'm just gonna stop here for a sec because i need to go and i will be back and i will give it my full attention didn't she just say however many seconds back um it's school let out time um Find where I am and come here. Yeah, be careful what you wish for. You know, a bakery. I would love to work in a bakery, but I can't stand for very long. So luckily this job has a chair in the bathroom and I can sit. What about those women in the 60s that were, in, that were truly bathroom attendants? Oh, it wasn't the pizza. Damn. Ah, oh, 
really, Lori Carlsberg? How do you know this? Let's see what's in the Amazon. Oh, the women, yes. And also in Mad Men, in, I think, was it the first? Well, my stuff came. Okay, I'm going to show you guys. It, I think it was one of the first ones. They had black bathroom attendants who handed you, like they would spray, you know, they had perfume, they would spray you, they wanted a tip. But how nice of an experience was that? Okay, so I have the nails. I got the nails. Oh, but not the nail stands. Okay, I'm going to be doing the nail stands. And then the nail. Oh. Oh. Really? Is that how you react to a package? Really? That's why you and Lisa and all the rest of them have real problems. <laughs> this one came in. Okay. I can't wait to do this. So I'm expecting yellow. Oh, that's nice. This one is... 3D Galaxy. Okay, wait. One of them is black. I'm just going to show you guys. Okay, so this is the black. Let's do this together. Okay. I'm going to paint my nail. Oh, you can't really see. Wait a minute. Hold on. I'm going to do the black. Someone's just commented, hi, Laurie, and their name is Ooh. <laughs> E-W. Okay. Oh my god, I'm so fucking excited. This is gel. Let me go get the... Oh god. I love black on a... This nail will... To any haters, when I go like that... It's going to... And who's the child here? you and you will die from the venom of oh remember Catwoman remember Catwoman oh shut up she would go Put the heebie-jeebies on them. Do an evil eye nail set. Awesome sound effects. <sighs> you crack me up, Laurie. You must have really sad lives if she makes you fucking laugh. Sparked. Okay. All right. Now I'm going to cure it. Damn, I just... Okay. I have to do it again. No, I'm not going to do an evil eye nail set because... I can't. I, I know I can't do that. I know what my limitations are. And I can't do that kind of a eye set. Okay. Let me cure this. Do, 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 do. Earth a kid. I want a man. Or is that, that was Grace Jones. I want a man. Can she have a song? I want a man. Can you stop it sounds now? Like Earth a Kit, though. Oh my god. I loved that cat woman in her black in her black leather outfit. Do I have to sit through this, really? Ooh, 
Batman. Remember? Oh, Batman. No, I don't oh, remember them I sounding like that. Pause. It's how she sounded. Oh, fucking A. This keeps starting over because I'm fussing around. What was the song that she sang? It's, I want a man. Stop. My Instagram is blowing up. Four notifications. Seven notifications. Is that blowing up? Well, I have acting in my blood. Both my parents are actors. My father was a, an actor. That's what it says in my birth certificate. He was on TV. And mm -hmm. he went to the P School of Performing Arts in New York. But my mother was in plays, and she was a good actress. And I was in lots of plays, and I performed. Where's my mother? Okay. Oh, how did you fit the acting career in with the ballerina career? God, you must have been rushed off your feet. So, I just cured that. Now, where are my glasses? You should see what happens at the end of a live. Everything is everywhere. Oh, and then I got these. I have to show you guys everything. Now, we're going to take this. It's... It's... 3D Galaxy Cat Eye Gel. Let's see. Ooh, ooh, ooh. And you paint it on top. Of the black. So this is like one of the ones I will do for you. So here is the, you can see it has a blue purple. Then you take the magnet and wait, I just wiped it all away. Where did it go? just went away because it's very finicky. Okay. So there it is. So it has a color shift to it. Looks pretty, but I want to, when you take the magnet, Can you see how I made it like two lines? So you can <clears throat> move it all around. See how long it's taken her to do that? A few minutes, each nail. I lost it again. <laughs> oh, there we go. Bish bash boom, and she's going to sell them to you for $15 or more. <laughs> I did it, I did it, I did it. Look at it. How fucking gorgeous. Cure it. Lick it, pick it, stick it, and flick it. Oh my god, you did just watch that? It was by Lancome, and it had a star design, and it was regular polish. 
and you held the magnet and it made a star because the magnet had a star. Old calendars. Oh, I saw that. I did that. Okay. All right. So then we're going to cure it. My love of crafts, you're going to want this nail polish, right? These nails that I'm going to make for you. I have coffin. I got coffin because you can then shape it into pointy, cut it shorter to make it square. Can you see? Look at that. And then, wait, I want to do one other thing. I want to do this on one of these nails because it looks different if it's not on black. So let's just do my middle finger here, paint over this with this purple blue. It's funny, my new boss, he saw my nails, picked up my hand. I like had my hand on the counter, the sink, <laughs> and he picked it up. He went, I just, I wasn't talking to him and I felt him pick up my hand and he was like, those nails. And I, and the other girl there, the one who flushes the toilet, she was like, she does them herself. Okay. So this is the color over this and let's do. Laurie Carlberg, I have a feeling you're going to sell every nail kit you put out. Yeah, she didn't, Laurie. So I just made it do this. So hard to see. Can you guys see what it is going? Can we see what it is going? on here let's do this is fucking gorgeous yeah the color shift okay and then i got these oh i thought they were going to be bigger i might not keep these i wanted bigger crystals. So I thought they were different sizes. These are just all round. Oh wait, they are. Hold on, hold on. Are they genuine Swarovski crystals from Amazon? My boss is drop dead gorgeous. And he did say to me, I want to get to know, he said, you're the kind of person that I would want to get to know, like outside of work at night, something like that, that yeah. I kept saying, did I? Really? Is that what he said? Or is that what you made up in your head? I just hear what he said. And we have the same opinions about the masks and COVID and the vaccine. Oh, she's off again. These are gorgeous. Okay, let's take a look at this. And it still has the tacky layer on, which I have to take off with. Um, alcohol wipes, so hang on a second. So I got this because it comes with this picker-upper. Oh my God, how is this possible? How did this get in here? Because you cannot, it's like, this is, yeah, this is terrifying pom-pom right now. Rip the bag! This is sealed in here. Like, you cannot get it out. It's okay. Nothing's going to hurt you. Stop shouting, oh, then. You have to sharpen this and it picks up the stuff. 
We all wear the same Walmart vest. Oh, oh, it's two boxes. Okay, hold on, hold on. This is the colored ones. This is fucking ridiculous. Pum Pum, nothing's gonna hurt you. It's not gonna hurt you. Oh, they did send me. Okay, I have a lot. It's okay, Babas. Oh my god, can you believe this shit? Sealed in here. I ordered this at like 2 a.m. What did you say, the purring lady, that you were attracted? Your she statement. was a gardener. I'm just going to show you. She probably doesn't want the world to know. So these are all clear. Swarovski on the top, crystals. And then the ones on the bottom are different round sizes in AB. And then these... Like, you can't retract a message. Once it's out there, it's out there. Someone has seen it, captured it, whatever. I do happen to know that Jules, that horrible... <sighs> that I love your nails, but I'm an avid gardener with hands in the dirt. You do know that Jules, that horrible person, what? I'm, I just can't wait to hear this. Disgusting Jules. Records several people's videos and they all thank her for it. Hi, I recorded just in case she takes it down. Okay. Thanks, Jules. Oh, okay. Look at that gorgeous green crystal. So then I have these in all different colors. Pink. I'm disgusting, but you're the one that just licked your finger to pick up a crystal that you're going to put onto nails that you're selling. Okay. Black, silver, pink, another pink, red, purple, white, yellow, green, green, blue, green. And then... They sent me some of these. And you can see all the different shapes. Just beautiful. Jules, shouldn't you be doing something a little bit more productive? Maybe something that makes you money as you and your husband lie in bed, unable to leave your house for 10 days. Do something that makes you money. Don't copy. Don't don't copy people's videos. Um, something that makes me money. What? Like YouTube? Videos to put on that external site. And you don't read anything from it? She is blocked. Blocking on YouTube does not block them from watching. All those people can still watch. They just can't comment. And no, it's freedom of speech. She has every right to take a video and put it somewhere else. Every right. And I'd rather them do that than come here. So let them go and do that. But so why, I would say to her... Why are you fucking complaining then? Shut up. Just like... Kind of as a... Uh, you know, one... One disabled person to another. You'd feel so much better about yourself if you did something with your life rather than take people's videos who are actually doing something and providing enjoyment for most people um, and then uploading it somewhere else. And then you're thanked by 
the other people that will turn against you in a split second if you were to defend any of the people that you all trash. Such a loser. As much as my job, I felt like a loser on nothing. Oh, thanks, Clinique. What a loser she is. They're all just copying what you said. There isn't a brain among them. I just hate when they use your name in titles for clicks. They hate you, yet they want to earn money off your name. What the fuck? Picture it. I am a bathroom attendant at Walmart. A real nothing job. No self-respect. Oh, I've got a lot, lot more self-respect than she's got, Sarah. And I mean as far as skill. And these people are not even that. You know what they are? Right, yeah. You get a job and you can't keep it for longer than a month. And you used to be a ballerina and you used to be an executive assistant and you used to be all these amazing things that no one's ever seen you doing. Yet you've got no clue what my past is at all, have you? They're plankton. They are the excrement on the bottom of your shoe. Plankton. They are plankton. I'm sorry. Who walks about and gets plankton on their shoe? Are they taking a day trip at the bottom of the sea or something? That's so true. Haters will turn on each other. Which is a slut. Well, Helen, you know this more. It's a, it's a sludge. Well, uh, other than it being the cutest character on SpongeBob, it's a sludge of excrement that comes from swamps and lakes and ocean and builds up on the sides. Sides of what? Oh, they totally turn on each other because someone will eventually, there's this one woman I happen to know. Uh, but you never go there. She's very, very jealous of Lisa because she's obsessed with her. Her name is um, Rhonda Fox and she lives in North Carolina, right? Wilmington, North Carolina, Rhonda Fox, RJF. That's what she goes by on the gossip site. Did you sit on cow? Maybe. Um, that's what she goes on the gossip site. Obsessed with Lisa. Tried to be her friend. See, she tried to be her friend, but then also talked shit about her. Um, and, uh, just, but she's said some things and everyone jumped on her and she was like, because I, I don't know, they make up their own rules. So if you like call somebody ugly or something and you don't use the same kind of hate that they use, they will attack you. Okay. So then I got the nails. And then I got this. I don't know if you guys remember, but back when I lived in Boston at the um, ghetto apartment across from, you know, next to Judy, the one whose husband had died uh, from, I think, heroin overdose or something, who had adopted Noelia and all the other, like, this is white trash in Newton. I can't believe it. But anyways, there's smegma. Um, well, she had bought her daughter these, and I had gone to CVS to get them because they are so cute, and they work really, really well on your hair. So, oh, God. Let me open this box and show you. She makes me laugh talking Fuck. about white trash. Sorry. Hang on. Sat there. In the arse end of the desert with a shit job. No husband. 
a car that she's paid through the nose for. Well, her mother paid through the nose for. Sorry, I have to keep the straw in my mouth because this is so fizzy and it keeps overflowing and I end up getting Pepsi all over my t-shirt. Yeah, like you've got any fucking right to be calling anybody anything. And yet you know all about the bakery but you never go there. So strange. Look at that arse. I think the next I think the next animal I get I'm gonna name it Smegma or Pus. Maybe I'll name it Jules. Oh my god, that would be hysterical. <laughs> Maybe I should get a rat and name it Jules. Yeah, and hopefully it'll bite your throat. No, rats are too good for that name. Thanks, Jules. Just want to let you know I recorded it just in case she takes it down. Thanks, Jules. Mm -hmm. God, she must feel so good. So good they thanked her. She's doing something for them. What's that there? Someone called the compound. You ever have that not so fresh feeling? She has that feeling all the time. Jules, you're the best. Yeah, I know. Thanks. You're the best. And she gets props from that. Okay. So we have pink, purple. Green smegma and blue smegma. Such I only want the child. pink, but it was only ten dollars, so okay, let's try this. It was only ten dollars from a woman who has no job and who begs on the internet. How do you open it? Okay. Okay. Oh, okay. So it comes with a sponge attached. And here is the chalk. And you take it. And you close it on your hand. Do you guys remember when I did that? I remember when you painted Noelia's fingers, you used to let her come in and pick a bottle of nail polish and you used to paint her nails for her and you actually came across as human. So there has to be buried, buried deep, 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 deep way down a nice tiny weeny bit of her, but the rest of us just vile. Let's try the purple. I'd do my whole head with that if I had it. It's the purple. Oh, what did Kim say? And then it fades that. out so it gets to be a lighter pink, which I really like. Oh, come on. really hard to do this with these. Where is cow, Laurie? Oh, yeah, moo cow. Will you spend any of this windfall on fixing your car like adults do? You're such an overgrown teenager. Yep, she is.
And then when you spray it, yeah, I love the pink. When you spray it, it stays, you know. So you could have bought hair chalks, which I have, and hairspray for less than the amount of that kit. And there's hardly any chalk in them little discs. So that's £10 down the toilet because you're only going to use it this once. Get it out of your system and then in a feng shui moment throw it in the bin, aren't you? Green. Neato. Who says neato? <sighs> and you can... Cute, right? So childish. So nice of you. Wait. Maybe you should read your comments, huh? So childish. Oh, poor Carol. Yeah. Carol has no whimsy. You missed her original message. You'd lose your whimsy pretty quick if you read it. Listen, Carol. Bye-bye. Bye. See ya. Go talk on the gossip site with those old hats. I love being childish. That doesn't mean that you are um, immature. Look at how all my great people answered. Yeah, because you've got them fucking brainwashed. In life, we need whimsy. I love it too. Mm -hmm. So nice of you. It's true. But she's gone now. I don't want any job, Kim. And I don't have cow anymore. I'm not afraid to say it. So there you go. I found cow a new home. Just too much for me to take care of. So go ahead. I got it out of my system. I wanted a skinny pig so I could make little sock jumpers and have a little fucking vest thing so I could carry them around. And then I got bored with them, so I got rid of them. I wanted a lizard, and then I got bored with it, so I got rid of it. Now write it. You guys can write it all down. There's somebody out there that remembers my guinea pig and his name. Yes, because you keep saying it. You remember other people's animals' names. And wants to try and catch me because I rehomed him. I don't give a shit if you like it or not. Yeah, I didn't announce it because I just, I didn't even think about it, to be honest. I love Cow, but I just, I couldn't. I wasn't taking him out enough and I wasn't being the best home. So I found a better home. And you took the time and remembered that Lori, someone that doesn't even acknowledge your existence until this one little moment that you're getting a little bit of attention you remember this girl on YouTube she has this guinea pig named cow okay so she remembers I'm sure she remembers all my animals names all of oh, them oh is that what Lit that woman was saying did you sit on him <laughs> z cow moo fringe they're all gone they're all gone Bella, gone. Uh, I only have Gucci and Pom Pom. And the animals that I rehomed also, I just want to say, they don't, I mean, Cow, I had him a month and a half. And he, he knew me, but he is much happier. He has a new brother. And um, the girl that took him is much better. Like she spends a ton more time with him. Um, but I did love him. He was so cute. Um, but Fringe is a...
You're slowly offing your pets. You're disgusting. The little reptile, they don't bond with people. Yeah, I'm slowly offing my pets. You're disgusting. So if I got rid of my fish tank, would you think I was disgusting also? Um, and Lizzie, the bearded dragon, he, they don't bond with people. You killed Lizzie. Well, you understand that, right? You saw Nicole Ritchie with hers on a leash walking it around town and that you had it in your head. Oh, I'm going to get one of them and then I'm going to do that and then we're going to go viral. We're going to make videos and everyone's going to be so interested and nobody was. So you overfed him and killed him. What does it feel like to sit there and just judge everybody? Because you, know, you don't just do it to me. You sit in an ivory tower, which is probably more comparable to a trailer park. Because you, you're not, you cannot tell me that you are thin, happily married, have a lot of money, and you live in a mansion. Because nobody that is doing all that comes here. Um, <laughs> yeah, Rachel. And you are doing everything right. Okay, Medusa, you have to stop saying that they are hurtful. They are only hurtful if I care about the person's opinion. Otherwise, all it, this is is a gnat that is pestering me. These are not hurtful. She can say anything she wants. You cannot hurt somebody that doesn't care. People are going to think a reaction is caring. It's not. It's just not ignoring. I'm just not ignoring. That's the only difference. Do you think that I actually sit and fester over what trolls have said on my live stream when I get off? No. If anything, I say, oh my God, I can't believe that my life has become I'm the bathroom attendant at Walmart in Tucson. That's what festers in me. Well, I have tons of free time, but I don't go onto other people's channels and I don't give thumbs down and I don't comment negative things and I don't go onto gossip sites. Liar, and I have all liar, the time in the world. Liar, liar, liar. You do all those things. This is true, Clinique. These, these people, when they do this, all I think is they don't love themselves and they are letting me be more significant than necessary and they're just pests that's all it's just a pest so I'm also getting lip injections because they've obviously not they're not a good pet owner they need to do something for sure I do not feel the least bit guilty I could pretend or not tell you any of it I don't have I do miss cow, I have to say. I do miss cow. He was so cute, but he's so much happier now. And she sends me pictures. And she got him a friend, and they get along. Oh, they're really long. Really long. Look at that. Oh, I'll tell you what she gets out of it. It's like these people are simple. They're simple, simple-minded people. Um, she's feeling aggravated about her life and herself. And she gets on. She sees that I'm on. And I have the nerve to think highly of myself when I'm on disability, I'm disabled, I everybody hates me, supposedly, my mother hates me, my son hates me, I have no friends. This is who this is who they pick on, somebody that they think is like this. No, you don't pick on weak. You don't pick on the weak. Because that would be 
that would be cruel. So, like, somebody who doesn't have arms, you don't say, here, hold this. Um, what about somebody with an artificial leg? Do you sit in your car and slag them off? And say, why do I need to see that? Right? Only a low life picks on somebody who's incapacitated, weak. There you go. Talking about yourself again. Mentally incapacitated, retarded, um, mentally is? retarded. What's the word that we use now? Um, mentally challenged. Only a weak, weak person that that is wimpy would pick on somebody that really is... deficient in some area so you're deficient in some area are you no they don't feel i know i've known many gossips they absolutely feel superior to those who they make fun at and of not at and yes somewhere deep inside them they do not like themselves whatever many gossips they absolutely feel superior they do not Superior, it they do not feel superior. You cannot ever make me think that somebody that criticizes somebody feels superior. Well, they obviously do, or they wouldn't be criticizing them, would they? They wouldn't be going around criticizing somebody they felt was superior to them, would they? No. People criticise people who they think are inferior to them. It makes them feel good about themselves. You really think people come on your channel and insult you, but they think that you're a better person than them? I don't think so. So deep inside they do not like themselves, so that's not feeling superior. And they just think I have such a nerve you do it's not just nerve. me I'm not the only one they do this to everybody so I'm nothing special they don't do it to everyone I'm not special no you're not what's the matter she just heard a car beep it's me I'm here no she heard a car beep and it sounds like my car you're not obsessed with me. See, I hate it when people say this. Oh, everybody's going to have to say their own opinion on what they are. Oh, are your subscribers not allowed to talk? Are they inferior to you? Should they just sit and listen with their hands on their knees? Just rewording everything I'm saying or that somebody just said. No, 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 no. The person you're watching, Darlene Clonk, is the one that lacks empathy. I admire you, Laurie. I love how you take life by the balls and do something about it. What is she doing? What is she doing when she sat crying because mummy left her? What is she doing when she sat crying because she can't get a job? What is she doing when she sat crying because her car's been repossessed? I don't know if they lack empathy, to be honest, Darlene. I don't really, I don't analyze them. I just know from like a basic psychology background, basic, basic, this is not rocket science. Oh, you've done psychology as well, have you? Wow, acting, ballerina, CEO of a company it's not it's just anybody that has to do this like i know that when i stop um picking on somebody it's usually having to do something the purring lady the one i've been dealing with truly feels she has the right to judge and mock i've told her to her face do not gossip to me about others i'm not interested in it period something with what's going on with me so it's something that happened that day I could have gotten in a fight with Burke or a friend my mother my husband 
I could be aggravated. I could be mad at myself that I ate too many gumballs and somebody comes along at that time. Well, you have to, I don't, I don't know if you've been, I think you told me about her, right? Did you email me about her? She feels she has the right to judge. Well, let her. You need to get her out of your life. Why you have somebody like that in your life? She wants to gossip about others. You're not interested. I just, what does she provide you? I think you had written me about her. Um, that you don't know what she feels. You have no idea what she feels. Just because she has the bravado and acts like she has the right, I would say that's when the total opposite is true. He doth protest too much. Like the she... really rich do not talk about how rich they are. They just are. Well, you need to get her out of your life. You do not have to put up with that. I I just wouldn't. I don't care if I never had that person as a friend. They are expendable. Everyone is expendable. I don't care what, what she told you, what the words that come out of her garbage mouth that she feels self-righteous, I don't believe it, just because she said it. I don't believe it, what any what comes out of anybody's mouth. Like half these people, not half these people, half these trolls, whatever, they're saying, I don't believe that they believe it. When they say that they don't think I'm pretty, I don't believe that they think that. I think hmm. that's what they say. And you're letting her be a thorn in your side. You do not, she's not your child. You don't owe her anything. She doesn't need to be in your life. You're allowing it, you're putting up with it for whatever reason. Save yourself, your social, social circle. That's too bad that you have to deal with. I'd rather not have a social circle personally. All right. I think I'm done. Yep. I showed you guys everything, right? You were done a long time ago. Oh, I did just receive this because somebody had shown. Oh, here we go. A narcissist acts like they're aware of what they're doing and get it, but they just say mixed things. Rachel, please, have you not figured out that she's a narc yet? Really? Shown in their boxy charm. Oh, good night, Shannon. And so I ordered two of them, and I really like it. It's the Pearl Ease Radiant Glow Illuminating BB Cream. I showed it in my vlog. And it spilled on my shirt when I did it. But let me just show you the coverage over my tattoo. doesn't really have a smell. Patting it in has a nice illuminating effect. Doesn't cover so. much though. But then it's only a BB cream, isn't it? I'll tell you, I'll be honest. I feel like it has a good plumping effect. Can you believe my lips? I still, I haven't had lip filler for a very long time, December 2019, before I moved here. This City Lips, and you can get it on sale. Lisa's channel has a link. 
the clear or any of the colors. This is, I like the clear because it gives a pink to your lips because it makes the blood flow. I love this lip gloss. It plumps and it makes, it has such a great weight. It's not sticky. Isn't it great that a bathroom attendant at Walmart can afford a $35, $40 lip gloss? Yeah, it's not sticky, but it's weighty. It feels like by Medusa so it's city lips it has it doesn't have mint um, but you do feel not tingly either you don't feel tingle Ow. lip fillers would probably freak me out a bit love getting lip fillers I've had them it done like five or six times once uh, a year I get five or six times yet you said you only had them done four times. Which is it? Why lie? What's the point in lying? They're done. It flushes. Okay, quiet. It flushes your lips, you know, like does something. It's not tingly. It's not minty, but you feel your lips getting warm warm just warm and you look and your lips are pink my lips are pink <gasps> new rings thank you let me go get them i'm, I'm gonna stop here make this part two because otherwise yeah, that'll be th three hour things, won't it? Ignore me. <laughs> Stupid things that go on in my head. Thank you if you got to the end of this one with me and hopefully I will see you in part three.